Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love, who you might be dealing with, what are the energies between you, and what can you expect in the near future. Just always keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Cancer watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. Um, all right, Cancer, let's see what's coming your way in love. Spirit Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's coming their way in love? Burning passion, passion, intimacy, chemistry. The chemistry is off the charts. Oh, okay. I'm also getting like attraction here. Like there's something that you're attracted to. What else? What else for cancer? Oops. What's coming cancer's way in love? Free spirit, independent, spiritual, open mind. A free spirit is open to life's challenges with an open heart and an open mind. Interesting. So... I feel like you have to be kind of open-minded about this person. Um, maybe they are a free spirit. Maybe you are. Um, but I feel like there's something here. It's almost like someone really appreciates that you're independent or this is like a spiritual type of connection, something very free and open and passionate. So I love that energy. Let's see. What else do we have for cancer? What do they need to know in regards to love? What do they need to know when it comes to love? What do they need to know? True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I don't really focus on the parents part of that, but um, there is something here with forgiving and family. Okay. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. Now I know I'm gonna get some comments like, I don't want the past back. I don't know why you're always talking about the past and third parties. <laughs> and um, I understand where you're coming from. However, that's the whole nature of tarot. I don't know what cards are gonna come out. Otherwise, this would be a very boring reading. So I have a card here about knowing someone before. So could be someone from the past, could be someone that is a past life connection. Um, I feel like there's like family issues involved here for the cancers that I'm talking to. Um, there's something here happening within a family unit. Uh, maybe there's something where forgiveness needs to happen in a situation. So let's get into this for cancer. This reading will not resonate with everyone watching. So keep that in mind. Maybe only half of it will resonate and that's okay. I'm reading for a lot of people. There's a lot of people watching this. This could resonate for you 100% um, or not at all. So if it does not resonate, check out your other placements in your chart if they're more prominent or uh, check back next week for um, another reading. All right, for Cancer, what's coming their way in love spirit? How many cancers way in love? I'm using the Radiant Wise Spirit deck today. All of the decks that I use are linked down below. And a huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. Um, I really appreciate it. Your likes and your subscribes help out the channel a lot. We're really close to 50,000 subscribers, which is crazy. Um, thank you so much for your support. I can't answer or reply to every comment, but I do read them all. All right, Spirit, for Cancer, what's coming their way in love? Wow, starting with the Two of Cups. Are you kidding me? Right under True Love. Love it. What's coming Cancer's way in love? I feel like I've gotten a lot of positive readings this month, which is nice. King of Swords, because I feel like a lot of the signs have been through it lately when it comes to love. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy, um, open, honest communication. 
direct the truth a knight of swords reverse so interesting the knight of swords reverse has a few meanings as every card does but um, it could also mean a blocked message intercepted message or a message that's delivered in not the best way um, it's meant to hurt rather than help and it's not someone that's on your side so we'll clarify to see if that's the case there there's definitely something to do with a strong partnership here i have the two of cups here i have true love i have past life relationship and notice how like in this picture i haven't really noticed it before that's a very passionate embrace so i feel like it's a very passionate type of connection or there's chemistry there Hold on, let me knock on these cards Spirit, help me clarify these messages for cancer. So let's dig in and see what this is all about here. Let's dig in. Show me what I need to see. What's this Two of Cups about? What can you tell us about this Two of Cups, Spirit, for cancer? Now, Cancer, this spread could be all about you or it could be all about the person that is involved or anybody in your energy because that's how energy works. Five of Wands reverse. So the fighting is over. The conflict is over. The, the egos have been put aside and there's, you know, someone's waving the white flag and wanting to compromise or have some sort of reconcil reconciliation here. That word always gets me. Tell me more about the Two of Cups. Ten of Wands. Interesting. So this could be a situation where whatever fighting or arguing or or drama was involved here in this connection, it might have been a burden at some point. So it's good that the fighting is over, that there's a compromise, that things are, you know, we're nearing the finish line of whatever this was. And then the Three of Swords just fell out. What else can you tell me about the Two of Cups? What else can you tell me about the Two of Cups for Cancer? High Priestess. See, there's something I feel like that hasn't been communicated. Maybe there wasn't a lot of communication between you and this person due to what happened with the High Priestess. Maybe there's something that you're still trying to get to the bottom of with the uh, the King of Swords, trying to figure out the truth, trying to figure out a situation, how someone's thinking or feeling. Again, it's like a burden that some, you know, this could be taken two ways. Either someone has been holding on to something and not saying something, and that's a burden in and of itself. Or if someone's ready to, to, to set down this burden of whatever happened in the past and, um, you know, maybe start communicating again. Because right after this, I have the King of Swords. And with the High Priestess, I have the Four of Swords reversed. So this is someone opening up. There could have been um, limited communication for a while or something that wasn't being communicated. And then now someone's ready to like wake up with the Four of Swords reverse. Tell me about this King of Swords. And then we got the judgment card. Ooh. Could be this King of Swords is making a judgment call here. Having some sort of personal awakening, evaluating the past with clear eyes, clarity and truth. Tell me more about the King of Swords. That's way too many. Tell me more about the King of Swords, please. Ooh. Page of Wands. Yeah. This is communication. Um... And I feel like it's communication that's going to like be an, it's like an announcement because of the judgment card here. I feel like this is also communication in regards to something that happened in the past because judgment is all about evaluating the past, learning from the past, having some sort of resurrection. Now that you've learned and gone through everything, you're ready to move on to the next step. Tell me about the King of Swords. gosh my cards my cards 
be wanting to like and I'm gonna get some comments too like why don't you pick up the cards you dropped me with <laughs> because it's my fault that I'm dropping them <laughs> I I don't have my hands aren't big enough for most of these decks so I almost always there's like cards that slip right out and I don't think it's right to just pick those up all right king of swords can I get one more please the king of swords the magician reversed so there could be something that hasn't manifested that hasn't happened here and it's like and it was probably tied to the past and it's like someone wants to talk about how to start possibly start over with the judgment card um, here it's a card about rebirth second chances possibly or it could be that someone wants to talk about what happened in the past what didn't manifest for them in the past and how they want to move forward here I get one more for this page of wands initial excitement and uh, passion it uh, page of wands is someone that's very creative adventurous wants to get out there tell me about the page of wands please Ooh, queen of pentacles reverse it's like something wasn't happening for either they weren't able to give something with the queen of pentacles reverse or they were in um, financial difficulties or not making the best decisions. And so I feel like something wasn't able to get started. And there's a seven of wands reverse, which I've seen twice now. <clears throat> no longer resisting, no longer fighting back. Interesting. I'm picking up a few things. It's almost like it's almost like uh, whoever this page of wands is, whatever communication is coming with this page of wands regarding a judgment call that they made in the past or a judgment call that they're making now to start something new. I feel like they had they were resisting this for a while or fighting, uh, blocking this, you know, not interested in this. And then now it's like the guard is down. Some of you are dealing with someone who has a spouse. That's for a small number of you. So it looks like there's communication coming in, um, you know, depending on which one resonated for you, whether it's about having a second chance or talking about the past. Um, I feel like whatever it is, someone wasn't able to either talk about this before or was resisting this in the past. It wasn't happening in the past. And so um, we'll see what's going on with this Knight of Swords here. Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? The Knight of Swords reverse here. The Knight of Swords reverse. Four of Cups reversed. A change of heart, changing their mind, renewed interest. What else about this Knight of Swords reverse? What's going on with this Knight of Swords reverse? Wow, Five of Swords. So there could be some sort of conflict here. Either someone's not being completely honest or someone's dealing with like issues here, conflict, drama. Um, someone could be sabotaging themselves, like self-sabotage. Let's see, what else can I get here? Give me some more for the Knight of Swords Reverse. What else can you tell me, Spirit, about the Knight of Swords Reverse for Cancer? There's a Seven of Wands again, Reverse. At the bottom six of wands interesting so this could go two ways that i'm seeing here one of the one of the things that i'm seeing or one i guess some of the energy that i'm picking up here for some of you I feel like some sort of communication that took place changed your mind or your heart about something or someone. 
and I feel like there was a loss, like there was something that was lost. Um, and it's like, you didn't want to fight for this anymore. You, you wanted success. You didn't want to have to be, you know, stressed and, um, dealing with conflict all the time. You were just wanting someone to fight for this as much as you were willing to fight for it. You know, maybe you were the only one fighting for this for others of you. I feel like this Knight of Swords reverse is, 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 is almost like there's no communication coming in or a blocked message. And I feel like no, no communication has changed someone's mind about what happened in the past. It's almost like because of the silence or the, the, the quiet, you know, reflection that they're doing. Um, I feel like they're seeing what happened in the past and, and with new eyes, with new, there's, there's a new way of looking at things. Um, and it's causing them to let their guard down. Maybe before they were really defensive or trying to block this energy. Maybe before they were very hurt. And so they were closed off, but now, um, they're seeing things a little bit differently. Let's see if I can get one more. Can I get one more please for this Knight of Swords reverse? Okay, one more for this Knight of Swords reverse. Nine of Pentacles reverse. See, this is all about, I feel like this is connected to the free spirit card. This is someone that's not free, not independent, attached to something or someone financially dependent possibly um this could also be someone that has everything in their life they could want to have except love i feel like there's someone attached to whatever took place here with this five of swords energetically maybe they can't let go of what was said what happened um it could be also that someone's not single because I have the Queen of Pentacles reverse here. So I need to mention that because some of you are dealing with someone that's not single and is still attached in some way. So what's the potential outcome here? Because I feel like there's this family issues card is all of this. Like there's some drama that's still, and I feel like that's why it's so important to talk, to no longer keep this hidden with the High Priestess to communicate, to be on the same page with the two of cups. You know, if this is true love, if this is a very passionate connection, um, then, you know, it's worth it to talk it out and see what can be resolved here. What's the potential outcome for cancer? What's the potential outcome for cancer and love? See, there's gonna be like a delayed like a like a delay that the knight of pentacles reversed very slow potential outcome for cancer yeah even though there's emotions and love even though we have the two of cups here um i feel like everything else is going to delay this situation and i know that there's some cancers watching that know exactly what this is about if this is resonating for you and you already know what's blocking this let me know in the comments what else can you tell me about the potential outcome here because i know that there's it's like the the feelings aren't the problem the emotions aren't the problem i don't even think communication will be a problem any longer because i feel like there's going to be communication here four of pentacles but someone could be holding back or maybe there's something to do with finances or maybe it's something to do with, you know, fear. And whatever that is, 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 is there's still a delay of an offer. An offer is coming, but it's delayed. And that makes sense down here with the magician reverse. It's like, like something can't officially start. And I think it involves this King of Cups. This could be you, this could be a person you're, that you're dealing with that has a lot of feelings for you. There's love here. Um, for the Cancer that I'm talking to, if you're sitting there and you're like, I don't have anybody in my life. Um, well, it could be that this person's coming to your life, but I think most, most of the Cancers I'm talking to already know this person. 
And we have the King of Cups, King of uh, Swords, very mature people. Um, people that um, make wise decisions or are in touch with their emotions enough to make good decisions. So I feel like there's something here that's that's going to take place. This judgment card. I feel like this is going to be a turning point. 